Good day everyone. Good day my dear Unit 1 assistants and to all the MAPI teachers of MB Assisto Senior High School Unit 1. I would like to greet all of you, most especially the head of the MAPI department, Ma'am Juliet uh, De Leon. And to our SDO officials headed by Ma'am Nerisa El Losaria and to the public schools district supervisor assigned in our school, Ma'am Carla P. Garcia. Thank you very much for your uh, continuous support in the different endeavors of MB Assisto Senior High School Unit 1. Uh, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts has declared this month as the National Arts Month. You know, in, in various schools, they will also be celebrating the National Arts Month considering the fact that they see the significance or the importance of the celebration. Napakahalaga po ng celebration na ito, my dear Unit 1 assistants, and to the parents as well. Many people think that uh, the other celebrations which are actually anchored on the academic subjects are the ones which are only important and the arts are just on the periphery or nasa gilid lang yung arts um, ako po personally ay hindi gano'n ang aking pananaw I highly believe that the arts is very important you know when we talk of the arts the different forms of the arts actually surround us even in our respective homes we see art forms. For example, uh, when you look at the picture frame, that is an example of an art. When you look at the table, the, the centerpiece there, the design there, that is an example of an art. When you turn on the radio and you listen to music, that is also an art. So, the art actually surrounds all of us. Even if you go outside, even if you go to the park, here in Metro Manila, if you will go, for example, uh, outside, you will go to Intramuros, you will see the, the beautiful designs. Those are examples of art. Now, uh, a number of people believe that arts is only associated with beauty. No, it's not only associated with beauty. The arts has significance in our daily living. Yeah, I can say that the arts, the arts, the art forms are associated with beauty. It beautifies the surroundings. It beautifies our life. It makes our life joyful. Pinasasaya po tayo ng mga ng mga art forms alam ko po familiar ang ating mga mag-aaral sa arts eh. kasi nga meron po tayong MAPI subject yung music arts PE and health so doon po sa MAPI kasama yung arts familiar din po ang ating mga estudyante pati ang mga magulang lalong lalo na ang ating mga MAPI teachers sa, sa, di, sa different kinds of arts like the visual arts the performing arts yan po, po familiar po tayo dyan Ako naman po, ang, ang, ang literature for example, kasi ako po uh, ay English teacher when I was teaching the literature or in Filipino yung panitikan, that is an art. Okay. Napakagandang magbasa ng mga akdang pampanitikan. At yan ay kinukonsider na art. So, hindi lamang po yung pagpapaganda sa buhay natin, yung pagpapasaya sa buhay natin, yung talagang uh, ibinibigay ng art o kaya tayo ngayon nagsiselebrate ng National Arts Month in fact the, the theme of the celebration of the National Arts Month uh, is alab sining alay sigla so yung sining yan po ang Tagalog ng, o yung Filipino uh, counterpart ng arts yung sining dapat ay maalab dapat ay talagang nagbibigay sa atin ng passion okay to appreciate it okay yung 
yung alay sigla sapagkat yung sining dapat ay nagbibigay ng sigla sa atin yun ang kahalagahan that's what I was talking about moments ago it's not only associated with beauty when we talk of the arts it's only it's also associated with the, with the significance it's it's there in the team nandito po sa ating tema alab sining alay sigla don't you know that the arts actually motivate people motivate people like us to become more productive and and if we are more productive we become more meaningful citizens of the country yan po ang ginagawa ng art o ng sining nagiging mas produktibo tayo nagiging mas uh, mahalaga tayo sa lipunan kasi isipin po natin isipin po natin kapag walang sining wala eh uh, parang walang kabuhay-buhay ang buhay di po ba? E yung kagaya po ng naibigay kong halimbawa kanina, yung musika, e isang uri po yan ng sining. E ang dami po sa atin, napakarami sa atin, ang talagang mahilig uh, makinig sa, sa musika. Sa mellow music, for example, I myself, whenever I'm stressed out, whenever I don't feel relaxed, I listen to mellow music. I, all, I know that you, my dear Unit 1 Assistants, my dear... Uh, parents and teachers uh, some of you or several of you do the same okay I remember when uh, I remember when we were celebrating the National Arts Month in MBSC Senior High School 1 last, uh, last school year uh, the MAPE department had an activity yung po yung mga uh, ano po tawag dito yung mga drawing yung mga artworks na nakadisplay sa sa stage ng ating paaralan talagang pinuntahan ko pa yun alam yan ni Ma'am Juliet De Leon sapagkat nakita ko rin si Ma'am Juliet De Leon doon at tiningnan namin talagang nakita ko yung kagandahan eh. nakita ko yung yung epekto sa sa mood sa mood ko nung nakita ko yung mga yun at sinabi ko nga na itago yung mga artworks na yun nagawa ng mga mag-aaral at yun ay ilagay sa isang safe place o ligtas na lugar sa ating paaralan so napakahalaga po ng sining gaya nga po ng sinasabi sa paksa na alab sining, alay sigla nawa ay magkaroon tayo ng deep appreciation uh, towards the arts I think this is the reason why the National Commission for Culture and the Arts has initiated this celebration, lalong-lalo na po sa inyong mga mag-aaral, sapagkat uh, we make our life balanced. Yes, we are actually focused very much on our academic studies. We, we study assiduously, we, we read books, we aim to get high grades, we aim to achieve more but on the other side we have also to enjoy life so that we can, we, we can become more productive and the arts can be of great help okay yun po ang kahalagahan ng National Arts Month at sana po tayong lahat ng mga magulang, mga guro, mga mag-aaral at lahat ng mga nakikibahagi sa celebration na ito ng National Arts Month sana po ay Uh, mabigyan natin ng pansin sa bahay lang natin, yung disenyo ng bahay natin, that is an example of uh, of an art or singing tumingin lang kayo kapag kayo po ay nagsisimba o sumasamba, tingnan ninyo yung, yung ceiling ang ganda, di po ba? ang ganda ng mga patterns doon, Exam that is an example of an art whatever your uh, religion is, makikita ninyo tinitingnan ko yan, nakikita ko yung iba't ibang simbahan, kapilya eh talagang iba-iba ang kanilang disenyo because architecture is also an art napakalawak ng art, napakalawak ng sakop nito okay uh, maraming maraming salamat sa MAPI department uh, inuulit ko po, lalong lalo na sa sa kanilang department head na si Ma'am Juliet De Leon, maraming maraming salamat po ma'am sa pagmamotivate ninyo sa ating mga teachers, sa ating mga guro at sa mga mag-aaral natin para makapag-celebrate tayo nitong National Arts Month kahit po nasa panahon tayo ng pandemya. Hindi naman sa gabal. Kahit pa paano, makag mayroon pa rin tayong ilang mga aktibidades o gawain at makakapag-participate naman ng ating mga mag-aaral. Yun ang mahalaga. 
So, salamat po Unit 1 Assistance, mga magulang at mga guru. Pagpalaing kayo ng Panginoon Diyos.